Most of us try to lower our electric bills by turning off lights, mm. buying efficient appliances, or improving insulation. But a farmer up in Sheboygan County has taken green to an extreme, and it's generating some controversy. The I team's Steve Shamraz explains why. This story parallels the classic tale of Don Quixote. There's a windmill and one man's fight for what he thinks is the truth. Just like the book, his fight and its meaning is open for interpretation. So we will let you decide if he is right. Easy! On his farm in Sheboygan County, Dan Kramer knows two constants. The wind and his fight with Plymouth Utility. Law says it's fair, but is it fair? On this day, a truck from the utility is pulling up to cut off his power. The last step of a battle that ended with Dan refusing to pay his bill. The Kramers have been living on this land for generations. To save money, Dan works every piece of equipment and every angle. On a farm, you're a jack of all trades, master none, they tell me, but we do everything we can to save a dollar. With that in mind, he built this, a plan to go off the grid. I'm running off 100% wind right now. It may look like a windmill, but this is actually a gold mine. Those blades almost never stop spinning out electricity and money. Enough to power eight to 10 additional homes besides what I'm using today. Whatever Dan does not need, Plymouth Utility resells at the full retail rate, but it pays Dan only about a third of that, which means even though he produces three times the power he needs, he still owes the utility. Plymouth Utilities responded with a statement saying, as a regulated utility, we cannot offer special subsidies to one customer at the expense of other customers. He's getting underpaid. Tyler Hebner sides with Dan. He's the director of Renew Wisconsin, a nonprofit promoting green energy. He says historically, Wisconsin has been a leader in renewable energy, but the landscape has changed, and Dan's case is a prime example. It's three times as much as he uses and still has an electric bill. It doesn't seem right. Kramer tried to make that case to the PSC twice. Commission spokesperson Nathan Conrad explains. Customers have a, a, a complaint. They have the ability to come to the Public Service Commission and mediate that complaint with their utility. Dan did that and lost both times. The commission's ruling, because he did not have a prior written contract with Plymouth, the buyback rate for excess electricity was reasonable. His voice has been heard, heard here at the PSC. Dan's not willing to lose his way of life, though. So faced with disconnection, he finally paid his bill. How are you going to do? Losing this round with his utility, but maybe changing things for the next guy looking to go off the grid. It's a fight that has to be won. There is one more option for Dan. He could still take this case to a federal court and determine if the rate he's being paid is fair. Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4.